The Transformers Reactivates Twitter account posted a slightly concerning post in relation to what's happening with their video game going into 2024. They mentioned that there will not be any updates or information about the video game uh, this year leading into 2024, and they will be developing it now on the Unreal Engine 5 system. That's about it. Now, really, there's not much we could take away from this, but I do have some concerns, and it's more so from the business side of it and really why this is, you know, this game is very important for the Transformers brand because the video game side of it attracts normally people that don't engage with our plastic transforming toy robot hobby. And having a really dynamic AAA video game bridges that gap. I see that already where the sales of Among Us toys or Minecraft or Roblox, any of those are stemmed because of a video game that makes kids want to go and buy that. And I feel that we're going to be entering a bot bots kind of scenario. And what I mean by that is because currently right now, the two box sets of Transformers Reactivate product are showing up in stores right now and people are buying them. This game has no sign of being out anytime soon. And by the time this game does come out, some of those products won't even be on the shelves anymore. So people will play the video game, enjoy the video game, want to engage with the products related to said video game, and they won't be there. And it's kind of the same thing with what happened with BotBots. Show came out three years almost after the first toys hit, and people engaged with those main characters, and they weren't on the shelves. You know, that's just bad business. And I feel what's going on here is going to be very similar to that. And obviously what's going on, I mean, this isn't confirmed, but it's it's just what's been going on in the video game industry over the past couple of months. Uh, you know, a couple of months ago, Unity announced back, I think it was like in September, that they'd be charging a license fee for people that are developing games using their engine. And I think they'd be asking, like, I think it was like 20 cents per download or purchase. So a lot of people bailed out of the Unity engine, and I'm assuming uh, Certain Affinity, which was the origin of this game, and then going into Splash Damage, uh, probably were using that uh, that Unity engine also, and now we're ever, and a lot of people are moving now to Unreal's uh, Engine 5. So it's just something where there's probably going to be a delay, and this delay is going to probably affect Transformer product. And this is, again, it's, it's a concern because... It's going to hurt the main goal of this video game, which is to bring in new fans. Yes, it's going to be a fun game. We're going to all have a great time. But there always is an extra layer to it that's very important to the vitality of the entire brand as a whole. And why, really, at the end of the day, the video game exists. To give an example, the OG, the greatest Transformer game up to this point, Transformers Fall of Cybertron for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, uh... That had a very good bang, 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 get the marketing, get people out. It was like the game was announced in early 2012, and then in July 2012 at San Diego Comic-Con, they revealed the figures, like the Ultra Magnus, the, the, the Grimlock, you know, the Combiner teams, uh, and that was in July. And then in August, the game came out. And then in November of the same year, just a couple months after that, the toys were being found everywhere. So we had this perfect timeline of, you know, hype, video game, hype, toys, game comes out, toys come out, all within a span of like a six to five, a five to six month period. And it brought in a lot of people. A lot of people got into the hobby. 2012 was a great year for Transformers, for business and everything especially for Hasbro. And this is one of these cases where it's just like, my goodness, what is going to happen here? Like we have product on shelves right now, key characters, the Optimus Primes, the Soundwaves, the Bumblebees and the Starscreams. And by the time this game comes out, this 
box set might not even exist. Now the flip side of it is maybe Hasbro could pivot and put it in a buzzworthy Target exclusive or reissue it. Let's hope that's the case. But if that's not the case, which, I mean, they didn't do that with BotBots, and I mean, in my opinion, when that BotBot show was scheduled to come out, they should have made some kind of box set of the key characters to put out there. But again, that's just my concern. I mean, obviously, this is just a small piece of news, but it is my concern that I do have about this because I want this game to be successful, and it probably will in a vacuum. It'll be a fun game. It'll be great. But will it lead to then the more important goal of bringing in new fans, bringing in sales, and moving the needle in a toy industry that is aging and is and is shifting in other directions? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Uh, the website also had a, a small little update. They just pretty much, to the game info, they kind of like tweaked it a little bit. Pretty much just saying a grave threat to humanity has arrived. It's pretty much confirming the whole Quintesson and Autobots and Decepticons working together. Uh, mentioning how it's one to four players online action game by Splash Damage, and it's going to be on PC and consoles. Nothing really new we didn't already know. And of course, there was a whole bunch of footage over the past couple of weeks that was popping up online of what seems like character select screens for Bumblebee and Starscream, but then other people have confirmed that those might have been just early assets from the certain affinity stuff. There is so much misinformation on social media right now for this game. People that are putting out content that are just empty stuff. Like there's there's so there's so little we know about this game, but it's amazing how people are creating content that have absolutely no information about the game and, pu and putting it out almost daily, which is crazy. So hopefully we get some legitimate information. Uh, we're definitely not going to get any... This pretty much confirms we're getting no legitimate information at least until next year. So at least the, the month of December is a wash, and hopefully we'll learn a lot more in the near future. And hopefully, more, more importantly, hopefully Hasbro has the toy releases figure out to work out in congruence with this game's release. That way, product has moved and a fandom has grown, a new fandom has grown from those new fans that come in, and everyone is happy. That's just the way I see it. Hopefully everything else works out in the end. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, I loved, I loved what was going on with Activision. It was a great time. Everyone was playing. And I hope that we return to that because this game looks like it has a lot of potential but it looks like, just like I said with BotBot, timing could really screw up everything in the long run. Let me know what you think, and thanks again for listening to the Transformer Slag podcast, and I'll talk to you in the near future.